In the last video, we learned how to make log log plot from given regular data, for example, the x values, y values, and we calculated log of x values and log of y values. And we are also given the uncertainty in y values and uncertainties in x values. So to include uncertainty in log log plot, we need uncertainty in log of x and log of y. And we calculated that here by just using this formula where you divide, for example, delta x by the original value of x to get uncertainty in log x. We talked about this last time. So in this video, we'll learn how to find uncertainty in the slope of this pit line. So currently, the uncertainty of the slope of this base pit line is nearly negative 2. And we want to find uncertainty in that value, negative 2, from the uncertainty data we have calculated in x and y, and we have also plotted that in this graph. So now, how do we do it? So let's make this graph bigger so that we can proceed. So for that reason, I'm going to be right-clicking on this graph and then choosing Move Chart so that this chart moves to its own separate page. So let's choose New Sheet. And if you like, you can give a name. So I'm just uh, leaving it Chart 1. So now we have uh, this data here. right? So what we want to do is we want to draw two slope lines. One maximum slope line, another one is minimum slope line based on the uncertainties here. So for that, I can go uh, to insert and then choose illustrations and then shape and from there I can choose this line option here and can draw, uh, let's say, maximum slope line, let's say starting from something like this. So if I were to just look at uh, two points, first point and the last point in this measurement, then I'm not making use of all the information, the intermediate points. So what I have to do is I need to draw this line such a way that it must pass through each of these uncertainty boxes indicated by uncertainty in horizontal line and vertical line. So if it doesn't pass through all of these, I want to make sure that at least it gets closest to most of them. Okay, so it looks like uh, this is a good place to be. Okay, so now I can similarly draw another one for the minimum slope. So I can start from somewhere here and then go like this, making sure that this line passes through most of these lines, if not all. Okay, so I have these two lines. Now I need to find slope of these two lines. Excel doesn't give me the slope of these two lines because Excel did not draw it. I drew them. So I need to take two points. Any two points that is convenient to read and find the rise and run based on those two points. So if I look closely, what I find is this line is passing through this line here, let's say minimum slope line that's passing through 
very close to this point here which is easy to read for example it has 6.5 here and 1.2 here so I want to choose one point there and so I can stick a little line so for that I am choosing a circle and then holding shift and drawing a little circle there and I can make it dark by choosing that now another point uh, that's going to be convenient to read uh, gonna be let's see where it doesn't matter as long as that point is in this line that we drew we should be fine okay so let's copy ctrl c and ctrl v so i have this another point and i think i can put that in there okay so once i have this what happens is to make things more clear i can draw let's say these two lines here let's say going something like this if i hold shift key while drawing these lines these lines are going to be straight line so let me change that to dark color and let me draw another line from here again by holding shift okay so make it dark and if you like you can change the let's say to the dash anyway so what i have is now i have reading of this point here and reading of this point so let me uh, type that by inserting text box here so rise in this case is equal to 5 minus 6.5 See, this line is sloping down, so the final point is going to be 5 here, final y, or y2 going to be 5, and y1 going to be negative 6.5. So that gives me negative 1.5. So negative here simply means, of course, this line is sloping down. So similarly, run in this case becomes 2 minus 1.2 so run is not negative okay so 2 minus 1.2 means looks like it's gonna be 0 0.8 so with this rise negative 1.5 and divided by run that's gonna give me slope of this minimum slope line with this rise value and run value the slope of the minimum slope line becomes negative 1.875 we're not rounding this yet and similarly i'm also choosing these two points uh, for the maximum slope line and by using these two points and calculating rise over run i can find the value of maximum slope which is negative 2.5 let's make sure that while drawing these lines we remember uh, to uh, draw these line passing uh, through most of the uncertainty bars if not all of them okay uh, to find the uncertainty in slope we can use this formula uncertainty in slope is maximum slope minus minimum slope and divided by 2 so we can take the difference between these two numbers 2.5 1.875 and divide that by 2. In this formula I get this number here. We can now write overall slope of this line is equal to from the slope here negative 2.0 
plus minus this number rounded here. Okay, so that's how we find slope and uncertainty in slope.